everyone. Good day, everyone. Hopefully everyone's doing well. I wanted to jump on here quickly because Spirit is highlighting um, the afterlife attachments. Um, there are entities in the air um, to whom are just asking to be lifted and um, they're making themselves very well known, if you will, uh, so that they can get redirected to the light, if you will. So what, the, what they had shared is that if you work in a healthcare system, especially hospitals, um, but as a caregiver, a nurse, a psychologist, anyone dealing with patients to whom are ill, um, the awareness that they want to bring forward is to clear and cleanse and protect your energies, okay? Before the shift and after the shift. Because as you know, as a shaman and a fertility uh, psychic surgeon, I'm definitely always giving a platform to these afterlife spirits, okay? Now, the reason why I'm sharing this is because, as you may know, my daughter is an RN and she works in a hospital. And I mean, it doesn't matter what unit you're working on, you're basically dealing with those that transition right into the spirit. And so having said, we or they are um, unconsciously aware that there could be some lingering spirits. And all they're asking is to be, as I said earlier, be sent to the light, right? Um, so whether you're unaware or not, you're actually bringing them home. Yes. So I noticed that yesterday, um, I had two spirits that came through. One was a man, I think he seemed to be like in his 40s or so, uh, in spirit form. And he had shared that he not caught cancer once, but twice. And the second time it took him into the transitioning stage of being in spirit form. And he's lingering, unfortunately. So uh, he was a professor for many years, well respected um, from its students and just friends and family in total. And then there was another um, spirit who came forward and it was a female who almost like seemed like a counselor for a school or um, some kind of um, maybe even a psychologist of some sort, but very, very good at what she did as well. But she um, showed and revealed herself as um, having one illness after another and after another so uh, which eventually took her life as well so two spirits kind of lingering away and again they made themselves they came to me um, saying that they were attached to my daughter um, I'm still kind of working on her um, trying to teach her the ropes on how energy works right and so um, I made, made it very clear um, that she needs to clear her energy before coming home. Um, otherwise, now she's bringing them home and now they're making them, you know, they're introducing themselves and saying, oh, you know, give me their history, basically, of when they were alive. And so basically, I just had my guides send them to the light with love so that they can feel peace from within. The one thing to keep in mind is that the afterworld spirits are harmless, okay? If you make sure that you are aware of them and you're, and you're gonna have this protection anyway once you set the intention of that so that they cannot intervene with your own decision-making because once they can, you know, I mean, like I said, I mean, these two spirits were really kind and they were just they were just lost right and they just needed some uh, spirit direction and so it's done right so at least we were aware and um, now they're at peace uh, with like so much love and you know gratitude like I, I give them thanks for sharing their energy uh, with us when they were alive in this lifetime um, but that's just an example as to what was being highlighted um, yeah now if we get into other um, more heavier, lower uh, vibrational 
energy, such as demons and stuff. Um, so those ones, uh, that's where us shamans can actually um, cut them loose from somebody who may have felt like they're, um, they've lost their spirit and their soul was taken over right that's when we go in and we say okay you can you can go now you can you know detach from this person who's maybe feeling depressed or suicidal or whatever it may be uh, mental mental health issues are a really clear sign that there are heavy attachments leading them to feel this way because they've taken over their body um, through some aspect okay so that's a whole other story altogether, another clip if needed. But again, I'm always, you know, coming on here to spread education. Spiritual education is the key. Um, knowledge is the key. And especially through our own experiences, that's where we really, that's what I teach is just through my own experiences. Um, uh, because I come from a place of truth and love. Yes, love and light, right? Yes. Um, but yeah. If you have any questions, do send me a DM or go through my website. Um, but yeah, lots of information, spiritual education on YouTube. Just click on there and just you look for spiritual protection, clearing, cleansing, whatever it may be. And that's your environment. You want to make sure that your home is always cleared. You want to make sure your workspace is always cleared. Okay. All right. So hopefully this has helped you. Um, get through your day today and I want to thank all the nurses doctors surgeons all the Western medicine you know uh, souls out there and I thank you for all your healing all right until next time take care peace everyone